Go ahead and grab a red marker and a blue marker. You're gonna need these to take your notes. Also grab a piece of paper. We're gonna go ahead and take this piece of paper and fold it in half the long way. Make sure you fold it nice and crisp and clean. After you have it folded the long way like a hot dog, you're gonna fold it into six equal parts. Try to make these about one inch apart and we'll fold it five different times so that when you unfold it, you'll have your six parts. Make sure you turn the foldable towards you so that when we get ready to open it up, you can take your notes on the inside. Here we go. This is our weather and climate foldable. We'll be looking at cold fronts, warm fronts, low pressure, high pressure, and we'll combine convection and hurricanes. On the inside, at the top of your foldable, label it symbols. Your cold front symbol, warm front symbol, and low pressure are at the top. On the other side, at the top, we're gonna continue to add high pressure and convection currents. Don't do low pressure again. At the bottom of your foldable, we're gonna add types of weather. Go ahead and make sure you take all the notes for cold front, warm front, and low pressure for the types of weather they bring. We're gonna continue to take notes at the bottom. The notes for high pressure and convection and hurricanes are at the bottom. Don't write low pressure again if you got it last time. Those hurricanes only need warm water to get going. Keep that in mind, it's super important. Hey guys, one really important factor to remember about weather is that it is always predictable. We can understand that when it's a low pressure system, it's gonna be storming outside. And those violent, violent storms are gonna bring us cold air and cooler temps. But if we are outside and it's just a sprinkle and a light rain, we can guarantee that little rain is gonna be humid and it's about to warm up and get hot. So that high pressure system kind of goes with the warm front and the low pressure system kind of goes with the cold front. Keep that in mind. Another really cool thing to think about is that when we see our warm front and cold front symbols, whatever direction that the arrows, our spikes for cold front, or our little half suns for a warm front, Whatever direction they're pointing in is the direction that the front is approaching. So anything behind those fronts, the temperatures have already changed. But anything in front of those arrows, then that weather is going to change. It's approaching. Happy weather note taking.